Okay guys, so we just finished cleaning up the protein skimmer and the pump inside the protein skimmer. Now we just put it all back together. So let's go ahead and test out the pump. Hopefully it's now working properly. And I kind of was thinking while I was assembling this, I'm like, maybe I should kind of test the pump before I start assembling the skimmer. But I guess it's a little bit too late. I'm counting on it. If it's not going to work now, then that means I'm going to buy a new pump and I'm just gonna have to take it apart again. So no big deal, it is what it is. I wanna test it out right now, install it into the sun filtration system and turn it on and see how it performs. Hopefully it's working back to normal because it was just working for the last maybe one day when I turned it back on. It actually worked, it was working good. I got some skin mate from it. like, And then all of a sudden I go to work one day, I come back home like the day two later and the skimmer's not working, It's the pump is pushing in water a little bit and then back off and then a little bit and back off and then I'm like what is going on here I go ahead and look at the controller right here and there's an LED uh, there's LED lights on the controller and actually I looked onto the website there and it shows me that according to what LEDs are illuminated or go out so the LEDs will be illuminated and depending what's wrong with it some LEDs will go out so depending on what's illuminated and what LEDs are not illuminated on the controller will tell you a code on possibly what would be wrong. For an example, the controller, the AC-DC power supply adapter, or maybe the pump or whatever else. So there's a few troubleshooting codes that I found on the website on fishstreet.com, which is underneath the uh, Coral Box Cloud 9. Uh, protein skimmer so I just wanted to hopefully resolve the issue the error code on mine was actually showing that it was a lack of power or too much power so that means that it's an AC DC adapter power supply that's what I'm thinking right like lack of power or too much power or overpowering it so to me I'm thinking it's a power supply situation the power supply looks fine I'm just gonna start off with cleaning out the pump luckily I did as you saw the needle wheel that was inside the impeller here of the pump was really actually dirty and caked up with some old carbon that was inside my tank so I'm glad that we cleaned that all up and the skimmers looking like it's brand new again okay guys so I managed to get out the impeller from the uh, skimmer pump here you can see there's a quick look inside the pump there's a little bit of debris in there. I'm not sure if that brown spot in there is rust or not, but I do not see any signs of rust on the impeller magnet over here. So this looks like it's in uh, reasonably uh, good shape, no damage to the impeller, but we just have some debris that's collected in the impeller uh, wheels over here. So we're gonna go ahead and remove those. DC pump model DCT 4000. So I looked for a replacement of this pump and it is actually called the DCS uh, 4000 and it is approximately, I think it was $120 uh, US to order a new pump. So I figured I'd do what I can to kind of repair this before I go and buy a new skimmer pump. Okay guys, so I just finished cleaning out the pump inside here along with the impeller, all of that guck and nasty carbon that kind of build up in there from exploding in my sump filtration i've also cleaned up the magnet here and uh, just did my best to give it a nice thorough cleaning so i'm ready to put the skimmer back together let's go ahead and pop off this collection cap so i can easily fit this in my tank because this is actually quite a big skimmer Alright, just filling up the skimmer with the first time with water. It's kind of just floating because it's filled with air. But now it's filled up with water. It's sitting in the chamber. I just got to run the cable now to the controller. So I got the controller mounted right here. Okay, so that's on. Let's go ahead and power on the skimmer and let's see what happens. I'm counting on this bad boy working or I'm gonna have to buy a new pump for this skimmer or maybe even power supply. I'm not sure exactly what it's going to be because um, from my test yesterday when the skimmer stopped working, 
when it was doing this side effect, I pulled the skimmer outside of the tank and I saw the impeller moving. The impeller is moving, the pump is pushing water, but I just, I'm just not getting it. I, I don't know what it is, I just want to get to the bottom of it. This is the moment of truth, at least for resolving the pump issue. I'm canceling out the pump. If there's any issues with the pump, hopefully I just solved it by cleaning it fully, okay? So hopefully I eliminated that. If that's not the issue, then maybe it's probably going to be the power supply. So we'll check it out. We'll see what happens. Moment of truth. See if the skimmer comes back on. The controller's powered on. Skimmer is filling up with water. And it just filled up. Now it's overflowing. And now it just stopped. It went back down. And now it's going back up. All right, so I'm having the same issue. Okay, let me pull off the camera off the tripod. I'm gonna show you an up close of what the skimmer's doing and what the controller's doing. You might as well just witness it with me so you guys can see exactly what's happening. Okay, so here's a closer look at the skimmer. You can see what it's doing right now. It just was just pumping water. I just found the problem. I just found the problem. Check this out, guys. Banging. Guess what's working? My skimmer back to normal. Guess what the issue was? Go ahead. Guess. Guess what the issue was, bro? The issue was the AC-DC power adapter power supply. So I just took this AC-DC adapter from my wave maker, which is right over there. So now my wave maker needs a power supply. So yeah, that's what happened. This is the one that I was using for the protein skimmer. This is the protein skimmer power supply. This is it. And I disconnected it. I took the one from my wave maker and I just plugged it in. The other end is plugged into my skimmer controller and bang, we got power. Not only do we got power, we got the skimmer working. And guess what, you see those bubbles? Those aren't just regular bubbles, bro. Those are some serious bubbles, air bubbles that I'm actually pulling out of this half inch tube. And where is this half inch tube going? Yeah, it's going all the way outside my house, which is this far. Up here, across here, and right up there to the top corner. That's exactly it. There's the hose right there. You want a closer look? I'm not sure if I showed you guys this yet, but out of all these little hose contraption, this is the half inch one that runs all the way upstairs there to outside my house. So guys, I just ran the line outside here behind the AC and uh, you can actually hear it sucking air all the way from out here. here. Alright, so that is the one running down there right into the skimmer. Okay guys, so you know what? I'm not just super happy and excited. I am like super duper crazy happy and excited. One, I didn't have to buy a new pump. Two, um, I, yeah, I didn't have to buy a new skimmer. Three, I found out the problem by just kind of, uh, I guess starting at one area and just testing and tr you know trouble and shooting. I started off with cleaning up the pump. I knew that the pump was totally clean and if that wasn't the issue, then um, maybe it could be something else. And what could that something else be? Well, it could have been the controller. Maybe the controller was messed, but the controller seems like it was working. It was doing what I was telling it to do. I don't know, but maybe it could have still been the controller. And I said, you know what, bro? It could also be the power supply. Oh man, what did I do? Well, before, I didn't, again, guys, if you're gonna be trying this maybe with some of your products, just keep in mind, bro, like, I had to double check the the, uh, the power input. Well, obviously, I knew the input was gonna be good because I'm just gonna be plugging it into the wall, but the output power, right? I just wanted to make sure that the output power from the AC-DC adapter basically worked on both products. And yeah, it says, what does it say here? Output, 24 volts, and it's going to be at 2.5 amps or I guess maybe that's the max, but basically bottom line is that both of these 
ACDC adapters are reading the exact same thing, okay? So I didn't just plug in any old ACDC adapter, made sure that the output and input and all the specs were perfectly in match, in sync, so I can basically do this, okay? So this is a 50 watt protein skimmer ACDC. We're back in action here, man. What day is it today? Let's just document this right now. This is actually January the 28th. 2020 just give you guys another update now that we're we can move along here my skimmer is working fantastic I just got to put on my collection cap on there but I just wanted to show you guys these mangroves that I just recently picked up right now um, I just got them shipped to me like yesterday or all in all I appreciate you guys tuning in go ahead and subscribe right now if you guys haven't subscribed already and we'll check you guys on the next video